Good morning, Calvary. Welcome to your word for the day today. Glad to have you here this morning. My name is Robert. I'm one of the pastors. I've got a question for you. Have you ever wanted something you couldn't have? <laughs> of course you have. And it starts often for us as a kid when we look at the gifts or toys that our friends would get and ours didn't quite measure up. Or maybe it was the first time you got a car, your first car, and in comparison to your friends, yours was a junk or a beater. Or maybe it was the envy that you experienced when your college friends got a better job, or these folks that seemed to get all the opportunities and breaks that you didn't get. Or maybe it's with your neighbor who has a better house and better toys than you, but seems to work less than you do. See, there's so many different ways to be envious. Have you ever noticed that? There's so many areas that envy and jealousy can creep into our life and take over our thinking. But if we're honest with ourselves, when we look at things, we also see that envy never leads us to a better place than where we started. We are never more satisfied with our life after being jealous or envious of another person or another thing or another situation. Quite the opposite of actually. You find yourself more frustrated, more dissatisfied, and more discontent after just a simple moment of envy. And if you think this isn't true, just think about the last time you looked at a new cell phone model and then had to continue to use yours. Or that time you rented a really nice car on vacation, then you had to come back and drive your own car around town. See, envy leads us to dissatisfaction, but also starts to eat away at our soul. Our Proverbs today is Proverbs 1430, which says, A tranquil heart gives life to the flesh, but envy makes the bones rot. Now, if you want to give life to your body and your spirit and find joy in life, then Scripture is telling us that contentment is what God has given you as a path to get there. Our culture is so wrapped up in consuming more and getting more and acquiring more that we very rarely stop to have that tranquil heart that peaceful, quiet spirit about us that is thankful for the blessings we have and thankful for what God has provided. So today, take a moment and think on what God has blessed you with. Better yet, I want to challenge you to pause sometime in your day today, get out a piece of paper and a pen, and write down a list of the things that God has blessed you with. I guarantee it will bring life to your flesh and it will help fight against the rot of envy. We hope that you have a great and thankful day today, Calvary. We'll see you next time.